Hematology and Oncology Questions and Answer for Nurses Part 1 Question 1, What is the best time to perform testicular self-examination? A. In the morning B. Before shower C. Right after shower D. Two hours before shower Correct answer C. The best time to perform this examination is right after a shower when your scrotal skin is moist and relaxed, making the testicles easy to feel. Question number 2, Non-surgical treatment of cervical cancer including the following except A. Conization B. Cryosurgery C. Laser therapy D. Chemotherapy A conization is a surgical procedure in which a cone-shaped pieces of abnormal tissue is removed from the cervix. The other options are all non-surgical treatment of cancer. Question number 3, what is the major cause of death in the immunosuppressed client? A. Anemia B. Bleeding C. Pain at the rate of 8 D. Infection Answer number 3, D. Infection is a major cause of death in the immunosuppressed client. As a result of low body immune system. Question number 4, a nurse is educating a group of women about leukemia. Which types of leukemia is seen in young children? A chronic lymphotytic leukemia B. Acute lymphotic leukemia C. Chronic myelogenous leukemia D. Acute myelogenous leukemia Answer number 4. B. Acute lymphocytic leukemia Also called acute lymphoblastic leukemia is a type of cancer of the blood and bone marrow that develop from early, immature, forms of lymphocytes. Mostly lymphoblasts present in bone marrow age of onset is younger than 15 years. Question number 5, nausea and vomiting are common adverse effects of radiation and chemotherapy, when should a nurse administer antiemetics? A. When therapy is finished B. When patient complaint of nausea and vomiting C. 30 minutes before the initiation of therapy D. 2 hours after therapy initiation. Answer number 5. C. The first dose of antiemetic should be given prior to COMMNCing chemotherapy. For oral, 30 to 60 minutes prior to the first dose of chemotherapy and intravenous, immediately before or up to 30 minutes prior to first dose of chemotherapy. Question number 6, which of the following is not one of the diagnostic tests for cancer? A. Cytological studies, Papanikolaou test, B. Magnetic resonance imaging, MRI. C. Computed tomography, CT, D. Breast self-examination Answer number 6, D. Breast self-examination is a screening test used in an attempt to detect early breast cancer. Question number 7, which of the following is not one of the risk factors of cervical cancer? A. Cigarette smoking, both active and passive B. Human papillomavirus, HPV Infection C. Syphilis Infection D. Multiple sex partners Answer number 7, C. Syphilis is a sexually transmitted infection caused by the bacterium Treponema pallidum. Syphilis is not one of the risk factor of cervical cancer. Question number 8, which of the following laboratory value is expected for a client just diagnosed with chronic lymphocytic leukemia? A. Increased red blood cell B. Uncontrolled proliferation of granulocytes C. Thrombocytopenia and increased lymphocytes D. Increased liver function test Answer number 8, C. Chronic lymphocytic chronic leukemia shows a proliferation of small abnormal mature B. Lymphoctobers and decreased antibody response. Thrombocytopenia also is often present. Question number 9, Mr. Charles was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. Which part of the body is involved? A. Back B. Head C. Bone D. Neck Answer number 9, D. At the time of diagnosis, a painless cervical lesion is often present, the others are not involved. Question number 10, The nurse is reviewing the history of a client with bladder cancer. The nurse expects to note documentation of which most common sign or symptom of this type of cancer. A. Dysuria B. Hematuria C. Urgency on urination D. Frequency of urination Answer number 10, B. The most common sign in clients with cancer of the bladder is hematuria. 
the client also may experience irritative voiding symptoms such as frequency, urgency, and dysuria, and these symptoms often are associated with carcinoma in situ. Question 11, a client is diagnosed as having a bowel tumor. The nurse should monitor the client for which complications of this type of tumor? Select all that apply. A. Flatulence B. Peritonitis C. Hemorrhage D. Fistula formation E. Bowel perforation. Answer number 11. B. C. D. E. Complications of bowel tumors include bowel perforation, which can result in hemorrhage and peritonitis. Other complications include bowel obstruction and fistula formation. Flatulence can occur but is not a complication. Question number 12. The nurse is reviewing the laboratory results of a client diagnosed with multiple myeloma. Which would the nurse expect to note specifically in this disorder? A. Increased calcium level B. Increased white blood cells C. Decreased blood urea nitrogen level D. Decreased number of plasma cells in the bone marrow. Answer number 12. A. Findings indicative of multiple myeloma are an increased number of plasma cells in the bone marrow, anemia, hypercalcemia caused by the release of calcium from the deteriorating bone tissue, and an elevated blood urea nitrogen level. An increased white blood cell count may or may not be present and is not related specifically to multiple myeloma. Question number 13. Malignant tumor of the bronchion peripheral lung tissue is called what? A laryngeal cancer B, lung cancer C, esophageal cancer D, multiple myoma. Answer number 13, B lung cancer is a malignant tumor of the bronchion peripheral lung tissue. Classified according to histological cell type, types include small cell lung cancer, SCLC, and non-small cell lung cancer, NSCLC. Question number 14, what do you understand by total gastrectomy? A. Total removal of the stomach content with no attachment B. Partial gastrectomy, with remaining segment anastomosed to the duodenum C. Partial gastrectomy, with remaining segment anastomosed to the jejunum D. Removal of the stomach, with attachment of the esophagus to the jejunum or duodenum. Answer number 14, D. Also called esophagojejunostomy is the removal of the stomach, with attachment of the esophagus to the intestines. The surgeon, may create a new stomach or pouch by folding over a portion of the intestines, to allow for more effective digestion. Question number 15, a diagnosis of Hodgkin's disease was made to a 60 years old man and is admitted for the intital cycle of chemotherapy. During hospitalization, the staff nurse should watch out for which complication except a. Bleeding b. Infection c. Benign prostatic hyperplasia D. Fertility problem. Answer number 15. C. Hodgkin's disease is a type of cancer that affects the lymphatic system, spleen, liver, lymph node, and bone. Monitor for signs of infection and bleeding. Maintain infection and bleeding precautions. Discuss the possibility of sterility with the client receiving chemotherapy and inform the client of fertility options such as sperm banking. Question number 16, according to a standard staging classification of Hodgkin's, which of the following criteria reflects stage 2? A. Involvement of single lymph node region or structure B. Involvement of extra lymphatic organ slash tissue C. Involvement of two or more lymph node regions or structures D. Involvement of lymph node of regions or structure on both side of diaphragm. Answer number 16 C. Hodgkin's disease is classified into stages to determine the state of the disease and where it has spread. Stage 2, involves two or more lymph node region, stage 1, involve only one lymph node, stage 3 involves nodes on both sides of the diaphragm, stage 4, involves extra lymphatic organ slash tissues. Question number 17, Blessing, a clinical instructor is conducting a lecture about breast self eczematitian when is the best time to perform BSE? A. Perform regularly 7 to 10 days after menses B. Perform regularly 7 to 10 before menses C. Perform regularly during ovulation D. Regularly before shower. Answer number 17, 
a women should perform their breast self-exam 7 to 10 days after their menstrual period starts which is also when their breasts are the least tender and lumpy. Question number 18, which of the following statement is correct about the rate of cell growth in relation to chemotherapy? A. Non-dividing cell are more susceptible to chemotherapy B. Slower growing cell are more susceptible to chemotherapy C. Faster growing cells are less susceptible to chemotherapy D. Faster growing cells are more susceptible to chemotherapy. Question number 19, A client with leukemia has neutropenia. Which of the following function must be frequently assessed? A. Blood pressure B. Heart sound C. Breath sound D. Intake and output. Answer number 19, C. Pneumonia both viral and fungal, is a common cause of death in client with neutropenia, so frequent assessment of respiratory rate and breath sound is checked. Question number 20, A. Client is diagnosis with multiple myeloma. The client asks the nurse about the diagnosis. Which of the following response is correct about the condition? A. Altered production of bone marrow B. Altered white blood cell production C. Malignant proliferation of plasma cells D. Malignant proliferation of leukocytes. Answer number 20, C. Multiple myeloma is a malignant proliferation of plasma cells within the bone. Excessive numbers of abnormal plasma cells invade the bone marrow and ultimately destroy bone. Question number 21. Which of the following is the reason to perform a spinal tap on a client newly diagnosed with leukemia? A. To rule out meningitis B. To determine the stage C. To decrease intracranial pressure D. To assess for central nervous system infiltration. Answer number 21. D. A spinal tap is performed to check if leukemia has infiltrated into the central nervous system, specifically to the cerebrospinal fluid. Question number 22. A client is admitted to the hospital with a suspected diagnosis of Hodgkin's disease. Which assessment finding would the nurse expect to note specifically in the client? A. Fatigue B. Weakness C. Weight gain D. Enlarged lymph nodes. Answer number 22, D. Hodgkin's disease is a chronic progressive neoplastic disorder of lymphoid tissue characterized by the painless enlargement of lymph nodes with progression to extralymphatic sites, such as the spleen and liver. Weight loss is most likely to be noted. Fatigue and weakness may occur but are not related significantly to the disease. Question number 23. The nurse is monitoring a client for signs and symptoms related to superior vena cava syndrome, which is an early sign of this oncological emergency. A. Cyanosis B. Arm edema C. Periorbital edema D. Mental status changes. Answer number 23. Superior vena cava syndrome occurs when the superior vena cava is compressed or obstructed by tumor growth. Early signs and symptoms generally occur in the morning and include edema of the face, especially around the eyes, and client complaints of tightness of a shirt or blouse collar. As the compression worsens, the client experiences edema of the hands and arms. Cyanosis and mental status changes are late signs. Question number 24 Nurse Mary is teaching a male client to perform monthly testicular self examinations. Which of the following points would be appropriate to make? A. Testicular cancer is difficult to diagnose. B. Testicular cancer is highly curable type of cancer. C. Testicular cancer is more more common in older men. D. Testicular cancer is number one causes of death in males. Answer number 24. Testicular cancer is highly curable, particularly when it's treated in its early stage. Self-examination allows early detection and facilitates the early initiation of treatment. Question to answer a cervical radiation implant is placed in the client for treatment of cervical cancer. The nurse initiates what most APPROR activity order for this client? 
A. Ambulation to the bathroom only B. Bed rest C. Out of bed in a chair only D. Ambulation to the room only. Please drop your answer in the comment section. Thank you for watching.